Hi everyone, this is George with Simpler Times Homestead. And what I wanted to talk to you about today was, uh, or is something that is part of what I'm going through for the Tennessee Naturalist Program, and that is volunteering. Uh, uh, volunteering is a very important aspect of the program in order to become a certified Tennessee Naturalist. The Naturalist Program consists of 40 hours of classroom and field instruction and also 40 hours of volunteer work. Now one of the cool things about volunteering is um, not only increasing one's knowledge about nature and Tennessee's natural wonders and environment but also the ability to give back into uh, into help with sustainable um, conservation This past September, I had the opportunity to lead a group of scouts in the cleanup of some invasive plant species at a historical uh, national park here in Middle Tennessee. Uh, we were down at the uh, Stones River National Battlefield in Old Fort Park, and we were cleaning out Chinese privet and bush honeysuckle. And I had the opportunity to educate this group of um, young men and women that were there helping us as far as um, what these plants look like and why it's important that we take them out. The first plant that uh, we identified was Chinese privet, of which an example can be found here. You'll notice it has opposite leaves, always in a pair, no terminal end leaf, kind of tongue-shaped elliptical leaves, um, right now, um, it's October, uh, late September, early October, and they have these green seeds on them. They will eventually turn a dark blue or purple or black color, um, like this one here, or these couple berries here. And this Chinese privet, see, you can see here's a, another example of the leaves, how they grow. It's kind of easy to identify. Dark on top, light underneath. This is uh, one of the invasive plants here in Middle Tennessee. I was trying to look for a, uh, a specimen of bush honeysuckle to show you. But anyway, these plants are uh, bad for Tennessee because they grow faster than the native plants. They end up crowding, crowding them out, competing for sunlight and nutrients in the soil. And some of them actually, uh, not necessarily the privet, but uh, some of the non-native plants actually reduce a, a, an herbicide-like substance into the soil so nothing else would be able to grow there. So it's very important to try to uh, get rid of the, uh, the non-native invasive species whenever you see them. And that's one of the things that we did um, on National Public Lands Day, getting rid of the, uh, the privet and the bush honeysuckle which I wish I had a uh, a sample here to show you and right after I shot that segment I took a short walk and I found some bush honeysuckle so this particular bush honeysuckle has red berries growing on it right now uh, you can't always use berries to identify uh, the species though but bush honeysuckle I don't know if you could see the uh, the stems here have a very woody striated stem, stem. They also have opposite leaves on the branches. Let's see if I can. And they also have this teardrop shape that comes to a point. I don't know if you can see it from that angle. So, opposite leaves, teardrop shape, this woody stem with the uh, striated marks in it. And this is bush honeysuckle. This is another non-native invasive plant um, that, if you see this around, needs to be removed from your property. Or should be removed from your property. This has been George with Simpler Times Homestead, reminding you that it's the simpler things in life that matter.